Good evening, YouTubers. Happy New Year's Eve. New time travel, Jaime88. I'm back with another video. And tonight, to kick off the end of the year video, I am going to show off my updated Walt Disney The Masterpiece Collection Update 2020 Edition. Wow, look how much all of my Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection tapes has been grown since my previous video. I know it's a lot. I have 26 VHS, well, technically 27 because of this number copy right there. Anyway, and I love collecting Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection tapes. I know I've seen other YouTubers out there who um, collect their Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection series and tapes. So... For those who don't know what is Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection, I'll tell you. Now, Walt Disney's Masterpiece Collection is a series of videos that succeed the Walt Disney, the classics Black Diamond VHS. It began its life on October 28th, 1994 until July 13th, 1999. And it consists of Disney movies that was added. Some of them were re-released and some they're added when it came out in theaters. So, without further ado, let's get started. Oh, before we do that, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Josh Cook. Joshua Cook, if you're watching this, your videos are excellent. Keep up the good work. Make sure you check out his channel on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description below. Also to Hannah Does Everything. Hannah, good job on your videos. Let's begin. We're going to start off with this tape. Snow White in the Seven Doors, released on video cassette on October 28. 8th, 1994. And this is the first Disney animated movie that came out in 1937. And Snow White is one of the Disney films to be untouchable because it only seen in theatrical reissue. I love this cover art. Here's Snow White and there's the Seven Doors. And there's the evil um, I forgot who this lady is. Please let me know. And um, Who's this queen? Please let me know who these two characters in the comments below. Here's the spine, Snow White and the Seven Doors. Here's the character profile of Snow White. Here's the back. A landmark in the history of animation, says New York Times. 84 minutes, Rady G. Here's the ink label for Snow White. And the print date is an early pressing of August 7th, 1994. So let me take this, put this back in here. All right. Now, let me tell you what this VHS opens up for Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. It opens up with the 1991 Green FBI warning screen. Then it's got the introduction by Rory E. Disney. Then the 1986 Walt Disney Home Video logo. The 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo and start of the movie. At the end, it's got the, the restoration credits and the silent 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo. And that's it. Now, some copies of Snow White and the Seven Doors, the later pressing that does have the 1994 Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo at the beginning. Next, here's Mary Poppins. This came out the same day as Snow White and the Seven Doors, October 28th, 1994. Oh, by the way, Snow White and the Seven Doors went out of print on April 30th, 1995. And I do have the 1985 v Neon Mickey VHS along with the 19... Um, 
88 VHS and the 1997 VHS and the 2004 VHS. I'll get the 1997 VHS a li little bit later. It has the same artwork as from the 1988 VHS, respectively. Here's the spine. Here's the character profile. Got this at, um, at Value Village back in October of 2019. Or, or 2020 of this year. Sheer delight to the eye, the ear, the sense this Newsweek. Oh, yes. And has Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. 1964 film, 139 minutes, ready G. Move this out of the way. Here's the ink label for Mary Poppins. And the print date is August 8th, 1995. All right. Got the business reply cards and other goodies. We're not going to show that. This copy opens up with the 1991 Green FBI warning screen, the 1994 Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo. Then it's got the Lilac Blue, now available on video cassette, the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection trailer, and then a trailer for the Brave Little Toaster and the Disney Family Film Collection. And it's got the Lilac Blue feature presentation logo from 1992, the green format screen, and the Buena Vista logo and start of the movie. All right, next. Here's the 1994 VHS of Alice in Wonderland. This also came out on October 28th, 1994. I do have a 1986 VHS along with the 90 on the slipcase and the clamshell release. I do have the 1988 VHS and this. But I have another copy of Alice in Wonderland, which I'm going to show that a little bit later. This is the one I saw at my elementary school, and I got this at Good, um, actually on Valley Village as well, the same day I got Mary Poppins in October of this year. Spirit Charming Truly Remarkable Animation. This film is from 1951. 75 minutes, Rady G. Here's the ink label, and the print date is August 8th, 1995. And this copy of Alice in Wonderland opens up with the 1991 Green FBI warning screen, the 1994 Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, then it's got the Lilac Blue now available on video cassette. Bumper, the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection promo, a trailer for the Brave Little Toaster, the Walt Disney Family Film Collection promo, the Lilac Blue feature presentation logo, and the RKO logo and start of the movie. All right, next, here's the sword and the stone, and this VHS came out on October 28th, 1994. Oh, yeah. Same artwork as the 1989 VHS. Pure Disney Gold says the New York Times. 79 minutes, Rady G. Here's the ink label. The print date is, whoa, April 3rd, 1999. Now, I know um, this is a later pressing, but it's, can you tell me what this VHS reprint opens up? Let me know in the comments below. But there is a 1994 VHS of the Sword and the Stone, which does have the 1991 Green FBI warning screen, the 1994 Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection promo. Then it's got the Lala Blue now available on video cassette. As the previews for the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection promo, the Brave Little Toaster, the Walt Disney Family Film Collection, 
the lilac blue feature presentation logo, the green formatted screen, and the Buena Vista logo in Star of the Film. This is a 1963 movie. Next, here's a 1994 VHS of Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. And this came out on video cassette the same day as Snow White and the Seven Doors, Mary Poppins, Alice in Wonderland, The Sword in the Stone, Dumbo, Peace Dragon, and a few other Disney titles like Robin Hood. I don't have those titles, but I will get that one soon. This is the 1971 film with Angela Lansbury. And it also has David Tomlinson, Roddy McDowell, San Jaffe, John Erickson, directed by Robert Stevenson. I saw this at my local PBS station in 1997. NPT Maryland Public Television. A thoroughly entertaining fantasy, says Leonard Malton of the Disney Films. 117 minutes, ready G. Here's a tape with the ink label. The print date, whoa, March 31st, 1997. And this copy opens the exact same way as the, the VHS copy of Mary Poppins, the green FBI warning screen, the 1994 Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection promo, the Lalap Blue now available on video cassette, the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection promo, the um, also the trailer for the Brave Little Toaster and the Disney Family Film Collection, the feature presentation logo, the green formatted screen, and the Buena Vista logo. But I got so let me know if you have a 1997 copy of Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, please let me know what the this version opens up. In the comments below. All right, moving on to the next VHS, the 1995 VHS of The Lion King, released on March 3rd, 1995. This is a 1994 film with the voices of James Earl Jones, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, the late Robert Gilliam, Matthew Broderick, and um, Rowan Atkinson. The greatest wonder of all, says Los Angeles Times. 88 minutes, ready G, and I got, saw this at my elementary school and high school. Here's the ink label for The Lion King. The print date is January 7th, 1995, an early copy. This copy opens up with the 1991 Green FBI warning screen. Then it's got the Walt Disney World promo commercial. Then it's got coming soon bumper from Walt Disney Pictures. A trailer for Poke, no, after the Walt Disney Pictures logo. Yes, a trailer for Pocahontas. Then coming soon to video cassette bumper and flash and the uh, Actually, the Lilac Blue one. Coming soon to video cassette bumper, the Lilac Blue. It shows the trailers for Angels in the Outfield. S no, Cinderella goes first, the trailer. Then Angels in the Outfield. The Aristocats trailer. Then the feature presentation logo, the Lilac Blue. The green format screen. And the remembrance of Frank Wells screen. And the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo and start of the movie. I know it's getting sorry about the confusion, but that's okay. I'm going to stop the tape and we're going to pick up for part two. So we'll be right back.